Hey, hey, what is up everybody? Mark here and today I'm going to show you this maze that I've made that a lot of you have been really interested in. Here it is. I made this particular one out of black and white acrylic and I really like the way it looks and feels. It's fantastic. But let me show you how this thing goes together. It's really simple, but I will say it does take quite a while to uh, run in your Glowforge and I'll show you why in just a second. So here's one that I made out of MDF or uh, draft board. And I'm gonna take it apart and show you how it goes to back together. So it's got these four clips right here on the sides. And they're just little C-shaped uh, clips there that you're just gonna glue on. I just did not glue it uh, for the sake of uh, this particular video so I could show you guys how this works. Okay, so there's the four clips right there. And then there's a piece of clear acrylic and then there's the maze layer, and then there's the bottom layer that has the maze uh, engraved in it to keep this thing in its place, because otherwise uh, all of the walls and everything tend to move around a lot. So I'll show you how that works. Now, before I put this back together, I wanna to tell you a couple details. It does not matter what uh, thickness of material you use for the bottom piece, and it doesn't matter what you use for the clear uh, top piece. You can use medium or thick glow forge, whatever you want, it makes no difference. The only part that does make a difference what uh, material thickness you use is this one. And the reason is this needs to be uh, taller than the ball that you use. Otherwise, of course, it won't roll around. I'm using glow forge thick uh, draft board here, which is approximately, it's right under a quarter inch. I think it's 0 0.22 on average. Um, and the ball that I'm using, I got a pack of 100 of these from Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but these are 3 16 inch uh, ball there, and uh, that allows it to be able to roll around in here uh, without hitting the top or the bottom. So whatever thickness you choose to use, just make sure that the ball you get is smaller than this thickness. Otherwise, it obviously won't work. And again, the bottom and the top doesn't matter. So first of all, here's the bottom piece. And... Uh, you can see that I engraved it uh, so that when this thing sits in it, you can set them all down in the grooves and then put a little bit of glue in the grooves and glue that down. If you were to try to do this like on just a, a flat surface like this, it would be nearly impossible. Uh, let me see if you can see this. Nearly impossible to get uh, everything situated the way it's supposed to uh, because it needs uh, some back some backbone uh, to keep this in place. You can see like right there how crazy it gets if it doesn't have something to sit in. So what you'll do is you're going to engrave this. And by the way, this takes forever, unfortunately, on the Glowforge. I, I want to say this took about 40 minutes. I can't actually remember, but it takes a while. And you're going to engrave all of this and then sit this guy down inside it. Let me see if I can show you how that works. You just rotate it till you find uh, which way it fits. And I think it goes just like this. Yeah, there it is. And what you want to do is you really want to work with it for uh, a moment or two, and you want to get all of these sitting down in those grooves well because it tends to rotate on you. So uh, make sure you get those all, just kind of eyeball it because you're going to have to take it apart here in just a second and put glue under it. But just kind of get a feel for how this works. And one of the things I want to point out is that you really want to get it down in those grooves because uh, if you don't, they will tend to lean left or lean right a little bit and then the ball won't roll correctly. Uh, let me back up one step too. As far as what uh, power you use to do these engravings here, I would say, honestly, as deep as you are comfortable making it, even if you're patient enough to make uh, make two runs, because the deeper that this sits, the better this is going to sit. Uh, so don't be uh, cheap on your time and, and do like a, a really thin uh, engraving because you will be sorry. It is not nearly as easy to put together if it's thin. So Go ahead and put some dots of glue all the way around in all those places, except, of course, the middle, because that's where the ball is going to sit when you win the uh, get through the maze. And then line everything up, uh, get it all situated. I'm not going to spend much time on it right now for the video. And then you'll take your top piece, and let me show you this piece. I don't know if you can see it very well in the video, but there are engraving uh, little notches here, 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 and here. And the reason you're doing that is to allow this clip to have more place to purchase, more place to sit, all right? So then you, after you've glued these together, I recommend that you let this thing dry first before you mess with this, okay? Because what you can do is as it's starting to dry, you can see if anything's leaning or in the wrong place and you can kind of shift it. Let this thing dry completely. 
and then take this guy and put it on here and it doesn't matter where you where you rotate it, it doesn't make any difference and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your clips and they should fit nice and snug so you can put some dots of glue in there and then slide those on and uh just work all, work your way all the way around uh the perimeter here and put all four of them on now let me tell you how you actually make these clips because you, hopefully you figured this out by now. I don't know what material you're going to use, uh, so I don't know what thickness you need to make these clips. So I'm going to give you a video to show you how to edit this, and it is super easy. It is literally going to take you five to six seconds or less to edit them. It is really that easy. But what you do first is you take your calipers. After you've cut all of this and uh, you have all three layers ready, take your calipers, of course, turn them on, zero them out, okay? And I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see that in the light here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna measure the thickness from inside one of those uh, grooves, just like this. So mine is 0.496, 0.496. So what I'm gonna do then is when I get into Illustrator or whatever uh, program you guys are using, you're gonna make this space right here 0.496, or if you want a nice tight fit, what I did was I made mine 0.486. And when you accommodate for kerf, or, uh, that is going to be a nice snug fit, just like that. Now, don't do what I did the first time. Do not glue this all together without putting the ball inside here because you're going to be really, really frustrated. So put the ball in there and then put the top on, all right? So that's all there is to this thing. Uh, oh, I was going to also show you how big it was. Um, if you measure from so, uh, across, it is about eight and a half inches, uh, eight and a half inch circle. And the reason it ends up being this size for me is because when I use the ball size that I chose, it needs to be this wide for each uh, groove for the ball to go through there. Um, one last thing I want to show you before we, uh, before I let you guys go. If you can see like some of the gaps, like right there, for example, if you're not careful when you're gluing, gaps like that will lean and the ball will not go through that. So make sure when you are gluing that all down that you have them nice and situated into each groove, all right? Just be patient with yourself and get it in there and make sure, work your way around and make sure they're all sitting nice and straight. If, you, if they are, you'll be super happy in the end. I think you have a lot of fun. So let me see how you guys uh, make these. Uh, I'd love to see it with different uh, materials like the acrylic or maybe paint them, but they're a lot of fun for the kids. I'm probably going to come back later and put a hole in the middle and then put a whole other maze on the other side so you can flip it over and play it on the other side too. But have fun with it. I love you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.